The question for this week is why are there two 8-pin EPS connectors on my motherboard and do I need to plug both in? So these are your EPS connectors on your motherboard and they're typically in the top corner. Um, so on this motherboard, um, they are up here kind of hidden. Um, that's what brings power into your CPU. So if you don't connect these, your system more, li mm -hmm. more than likely will not post. So that's kind of how this works. And as you can see on this motherboard, we have two. Um, and the question is, why is there two? And do I need to plug in two? Um, one, do you need to plug in two? For the most part, no, you do not. Um, and the rule of thumb typically, now I would read your motherboard's manual, but the rule of thumb typically is the connector that's closest to your CPU. So that would be this one. Uh, that is the one that, that you want to connect. Uh, now you can connect to, it's not going to hurt the system. It's not going to pull more power. It's not going to do any of that. If your, if your power supply does have both cables, you can plug them both in. Um, but I, you don't need to, it's not required. Your system will boot with just one, um, you know, and the reason that there's two is that in overclocking situations and, um, and mostly over for the most part, overclocking situations, you might need more power than what is it, one's going to supply. So you do have the second one. Not only will that give you better, like it will give you more power, but it's going to give you more stable power to your CPU when you're in extreme overclocking situations. 